got a uh, pop the balloon with Arlette. And I can already see that they got this guy on here again from Live Life Serve. Um, so, so I, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let's see what they're talking about in this video. It's a long video, too. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love and we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we are going to be bringing out some single women once they come around this corner one by one. If you're feeling her, you know, outfits on point, makeup on fleek, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything like maybe she says something that's a red flag to you or you just cannot see yourself dating her go ahead and pop that balloon and I'll go over to a few of you see why you ended up popping Are we ready okay all right so with that being said let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Nucci. Hey, Nucci, how old are you? I'm 25. I'll be 26 soon. Okay, and uh, what do you do? I am an artist as well as a behavioral health tech, and I'm also a stripper. <laughs> okay, now what kind of artist are you? <laughs> I rap. <laughs> you pop that shit so hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, anything we should be looking out for? Anything soon? Yes, actually, I dropped a song yesterday, so go ahead and check that out, you guys. Okay. Showgirl Nucci on YouTube and Instagram. All right, well, make sure to check that out. <laughs> now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to write music. Uh, I love movies. Like, I really like... I grew up watching movies like my grandma would sneak us into the movies. Like we would pay for one, go see another one, we would okay. pay for it. So yeah, <laughs> love movies. Um, I love to hike. I like to work out as well. Um, anybody that knows me knows that when I was like heavily into my working out like regimen, mm -hmm. I was working out like five, six days a week. I got really small, plumped up a little bit, but I mm -hmm. like myself both sizes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now what are some things you look for in a man? Um, just security within yourself, confidence. Um, a guy that has like goals mm -hmm. um, and actually like doing something to achieve them. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Ooh, deal breakers. Um, a guy like if you if you've met me, if you've been around me, humbly, I do get attention. So like if you know that about me and you want to pursue me, mm -hmm. then that's definitely something like if you tend to get insecure about the attention that I get, that's something that would make me like kind of stray away from you. Mm, okay. All right, so we did get um, a couple pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right, let's start with your name and age. Uh, I'm Trey, I'm 25. And Trey, what do you do? Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession, stripper. That's not my preference, nothing wrong with you. No, honestly, I thought it was gonna be more people that would pop, so I understand. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. yeah, that's it. All right, all right. Now, is uh, he someone that's your type? Um, you're dressed very well, great smile, just, um, if we're going off everyday life, I probably wouldn't entertain. Yeah. Nothing against you, you're very handsome. No, thank you, I appreciate it. Now, is there something there that's making you say you wouldn't entertain him? Um. Like, she, uh, she's instigating for no reason. Like, she's, like, trying to get more. <laughs> Why does she I do just... that? 
I think good. I just like a more like brolicky guy, like a little oh, bit okay. more like like mm, like you know. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that saying like no, you're not good. that, you're but fine. just for fine. me, I'm a big girl. So yeah, I understand. Yeah. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go down over here. Your name and age. Uh yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. And Key, what do you do? Uh, I own a trucking business. Okay, very cool. Now, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just a profession. Same thing. Uh, very pretty girl. Thank just you. Profession. Yeah, that's Sorry, it. I'm sweating. It's hot. You <laughs> good? Okay. And now, is Key someone that's your type? Love your complexion. Like that was definitely the first thing that caught my eye when I walked out here. Appreciate um, it. Love the waves as well. Um, I probably would entertain you if you approached me. So yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Cool. Cool. But he has the same build as the second guy. He's just slightly taller. Thank you. All right. So we still do have quite a few balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question, help you narrow it down. Ooh. Um, damn, I didn't really think about this. Oh, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, do any of you guys have children? You are, do? Are kids a deal breaker for you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm sorry. Let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. John, what do you do? Uh, I'm an aerospace tech, and uh, I do content. So, Got it. So she did pop on you for the kids. Um, why did you have your balloon unpop for her, though, prior to I mean, that? I'm not really shallow. You feel like to get to know the person, so I was just trying to fill her up. Okay. Got it, got it. Now, I know the kids is a deal breaker, but yeah. is he someone that's your type? Um... You're so cute. Like, let me just say that. You're, like, really cute. But, like, if I'm going to be with somebody, I need somebody that's, like, fine to me. Like, you fine to, to a lot of girls, I'm sure. But yeah. to me, like, very cute. I love your dreads. I like the way you're dressed. And, yeah. That's cool. I was corrected. Okay. <laughs> All righty. So, everyone else has no kids. Any other questions? Um, People are too afraid to hurt, like, other people's feelings. <laughs> You could have just said like he's he's not fine. This is dumb, but like I do want to know your guys' signs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wasn't still... gonna pop you based off your sign. I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start here with your name and age. Uh, my name is Dante. I'm 25. Okay. Dante, what do you do? Uh, I'm a famous adult uh, entertainer and also a uh, YouTuber as well. Okay, got so, yeah. it. So to answer her question, what's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay. A I like Sag. Sag. You know what's so crazy? Like, if you told me, if this man said I'm an adult film actor, guess my sign, I would have said Sagittarius. Like, that's the most Sagittarius thing ever. I don't know why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. But that Zodiac stuff is complete BS. Come back. Though. Name and age? Name Justin. And 26. Okay. And what do you do? And I own a... Uh, online business so yeah okay and what's your sign i'm cancer okay i like cancer you guys are very like emotionally okay. intelligent and like just like intuitive when it comes to emotions oh for sure yeah i like that yeah, and yeah. you guys like really make people feel comfortable like no sign i feel like mm -hmm. is better at doing that than a cancer so yeah, that's how it is for i sure. like that yeah. name and age chris 27 and chris what do you do i got a couple jobs uh i'm a realtor first mm. And then I work at a community center with kids, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay. Yeah. Right. I like that. What's your sign? Scorpio. I have a love hate <laughs> relationship with you guys. Like, I love you guys, but you guys are toxic. At least a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, at least you know. <laughs> All right, thank you. And we did get a pop. Let's head on back this way. Your name and age? My name's Ryan. Um, like, imagine judging, like, imagine evaluating who you're going to date based on what time of the year they're born. Like, you have to think about how crazy that actually is. People really do this shit. 26. And Ryan, what do you do? I own uh, two different media companies. Okay. So you did end up popping your balloon when she asked, what's your sign? What's up? What's going on? Um, yeah, it's just the sign thing. I just never got into that. Mm. And I don't even like speaking about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand. Like, a lot of guys are like that, so I don't fault you for that. All good. <laughs> All right. So prior to her asking about signs, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I kind of wanted to hear her out. The profession thing did kind of take me through a little loop, but I was, I was still open. Um, yeah. So, and, and 
she's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So oh, I was gonna I mean, say peanut butter. I like that. So, <laughs> so I was like, I was like, no, we can. Uh, I just want to hear what she had to say. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, is Ryan someone that's okay? <clears throat> no, because. He's too light skinned. Watch. You're just a smidgen too light skinned. I knew she was going to say that. Well, I knew she was going to say that. I like him a little bit brown to dark skin. Bro, why Let's do go. they say that, bro? Right, well, thank you. Let's go over here. White gender popping. Man, I, sh I'm, I think I'm light skinned. I don't know. Like, you feel You're me? not as light as him. Light, light. <laughs> you should have gave yourself a chance. Hey, I mean, look, I didn't know. You should have been clear on me. <laughs> But it's all good. Well, though. I did say brown to light skin. To brown me, light, you're, I mean, you well, are kind of like on the cusp lighter, of light. Yeah, yeah. But you are, to me, you have a little bit more milk. Bro, we got to we gotta retire this right here. This is the dumbest thing. Like, I know people think, like, it's okay as long as you don't say, like, I'm not into dark skins. But, like, it is just as dumb. Like, this is so stupid. Man. Melanin. Okay, for know. sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So, but you want that balloon back or something? Right. No, like, bro. Like, like go, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get okay. that balloon back. Yeah. Yeah. Get that balloon yeah. back. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll be back for you then. He ended up popping as well. What's going on? Same thing. You know, I'm light skinned, as everybody can see. She this man is not light skinned. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's funny. <laughs> He's funny, bro. He said, as everybody can see, that was funny. He said brown skin to dark skin. Maybe I should have specified like like light bright, right? Type shit. Okay, yeah. okay. There's nothing wrong with light brights at all. Like all yeah, complexions yeah. are beautiful. It's just a preference. Now he's the same complexion as Arlette. Is Arlette light skin? Like what is light skin? You see how dumb this conversation is? Hey, no, I feel yeah. you. But you, yeah, no, you're you damn near the same color. Yeah, you're same color. I'm, I just, I'm, I've been light skinned my whole life. <laughs> I'm gonna be dark as we in Arizona right now. Okay, all right. This is in Arizona. You wait. This is this is shot in Arizona. I'm in Arizona. For him to get, or I don't know. I mean, it's up to him. It's up to you. You want the balloon back or no? Shit. I think I'm just. I just want to see what else okay. out there. No, okay. no problem. Shit. No problem. All right. So is he someone that is your type? Um, I love the way you're dressed. You said it. Very handsome. I probably wouldn't, in the real world, entertain. Okay. Type shit. Okay. So prior to her saying the whole light skin thing, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Oh, well, she cold. Okay. <clears throat> My voice gone. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, she cold. Okay. Thank you. It's thick as hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we did get a pop down here. <laughs> All right. Your name and age. How you doing? My name is Nazi. Okay. I'm 25. And Nati, sorry, what wait, you what's your name? Nati. Nati. Nati? Yeah, it's okay. Ethiopian name. Okay. okay. And like what do you do? I'm a project engineer for a general contractor, full time, and then do a little freelance estimating on the side. Okay. Yeah. So why'd you end up popping your balloon? Well, first, I'm an, I'm an Aries. That, that, um, but yeah, when people ask me about my sign, I feel like they're making a lot of assumptions about the sign, to be honest. Aries gang. I don't believe in that at all. Yeah. We the leaders of the free world. Better respect that too. Um, but you cool though, you know, you're pretty and Thank you know, you. I think we'd be good friends, but yeah, that's I think so though. too. And honestly, let me just elaborate on like the zodiac question. Like I would never cancel somebody because of their zodiac sign. Like that's dumb. But like I do like I'm a Virgo, so like a lot of the things that they say about Virgos is very true for me personally. So like I just like it gives me kind of like a little insight of what your personality could look like. But sure. obviously I would give you the chance to like, you know, indulge me in who you really are. Cool. Okay, thank you. Let's head on back. Okay, so we do have two guys left. I'm gonna go ahead and see if you guys have any questions for her. You do? Okay, let's start here. Uh, what is submission to you? Submission. What is being Ooh. a submissive woman? Submissive is like allowing my man to lead. So like, um, let's say like, let's say we want to buy a house or something, yeah. and I want to live in one area. But you tell me that you want to live in this area for this, that, and this reason. I'm going to listen to you. And if I feel like, okay, my man has proved to me that he can lead. I think he knows what he's talking about. If we move here, it might not be the best idea. So I'm going to go with what my man says. What do you mean prove to you? Um, just like letting me know that you have like 
you know what you're doing basically just like financially spiritually mentally with your goals if you say that you have goals and you haven't achieved any of them then why would i let you lead anything that has to do with me so just proving it that way Any questions here? What city you stay? I mean, where you stay? Like the septum piercing with the cowboy hat is a crazy combo. I stay in Phoenix. You stay in Phoenix? Yes, sir. Or I stay in Cali, so I don't know. Ooh. Long distance. Long distance. I don't know about that one. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. So long this is a no for you. No, I okay. I can't do that. Okay, so you did have him get his balloon back. Is he someone that's your type? He's handsome, yeah. I would I would entertain him. Oh, entertain me. Hold on. I would <laughs> Hold on. I would uh, did I say something bad? You say entertain. Yeah. Entertain mean? the idea of getting to know you. Okay. Just like you would do that for me, right? I feel you. Yeah. Okay. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back this way. Why do we end up popping? The judge so I had to think about what she was saying about the submission. So before I got famous, before I had anything, I had my ex of uh, three years, I was trying to marry and stuff like that, but she didn't believe in the hustle. She didn't believe what I was doing and stuff like that. I didn't have the results, you know what I'm saying? With that. And she didn't believe in what was happening. And I told her what exactly was going to happen okay. to where I am today and stuff like that. It's like, okay, I can't entrust that. Oh, I might not have it in five years. I might have it in two years. It might happen in six years. You feel me? But like you thinking that, oh, you don't have the results yet. You know, a lot of people don't have results yet. You feel me type of shit? It don't come overnight. It don't come over in a year. It don't come over in three. Hmm. You got to stick and ride. If you mean, and if you're not going to do that, all right. Beat it, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I felt that. All right. Well, Nucci, that is all the balloons popped. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. What age is it? That you're too old to wear land bins. That's what I'm wondering right now. I'm 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 looking at old boy's feet right here. Like, what age is it that you have to stop wearing these? Oh, hello, welcome in. What's your name? Tosh. Tosh, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 25. And what do you do? I'm a registered nurse. Okay, very nice. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Um, I love to travel. I really love Pilates. I love trying like yoga classes, working out, spending time with friends and family. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, Bro, the skin is skinning. First, you have to have a relationship with God. You have to be family oriented. You have to have great communication skills. Um, you have to be romantic. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, you don't have a relationship with God. Um, the kids, it depends. It depends. It depends. Yeah. Um, you're not romantic. You can't communicate. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Bro. So we did get a pop balloon. <clears throat> okay. It's gone down over there. See what's going on. All right. Your name and age. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Nati, why did you end up popping your balloon? First off, you're very pretty. And uh, all my family's in healthcare, too. So I like the chair registered nurse. That's very cool. Um, right now in my life, I'm not really a, I wouldn't identify as a Christian or anything religious. Part, uh, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. But, I mean, you're cool, though. I like it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now, is Nati someone that's your type? I would I would say he's very handsome. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to hand you a pick, and I'm going to have you pop two balloons mm -hmm. based off of what you're seeing so far who may not really be your type outfit whatever it is i'm gonna go ahead and hand that over to you okay and go ahead and pop those two um uh. okay and one more <laughs> it'd be so funny okay let's start over here since we're here name and age uh dante uh 25 <laughs> And Dante, why did you have your balloon unpopped? <laughs> it's like a firing squad. <laughs> Melanated. Bro, chocolate man. Hey, I haven't seen anyone like that in Arizona in a long time. So, okay. hey, it looks smooth, you feel me? <laughs> Got it. So, why did you end up popping his balloon? Um, You just seem very flashy. Like, the teeth, Word. the piercing. Yeah, it's very flashy. I don't like flashy men. 
Oh, this was actually subtle today, too. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, this was subtle. Ooh. So that means you are flashy, then. Oh, well, I got everything I got. You know okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? If you see my garage, if you, you're probably going to call me flashy. So, like, okay. cool. Like, it is what it is. Okay. Then we did pop one more. Let's head down over here. Okay, your name and age? John, I'm 31. And John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she fine. You feel me? I love a chocolate woman, so I see you blushing. But, yeah, that's why I had my uh, um, balloon unpopped. Okay, got it. And now why did you end up popping his? Um, I don't really like dreads. That's why. That's why. I like mm. a cut, nice cut. But, yeah, that's the only reason. I thought she was going to be with the uh, Sorry. J- 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 Hey, the Afro taper fade is undefeated. I don't know, like, look, I'll tell you right now, if you want a good job and you want the baddest females, just get an Afro Afro taper fade. I don't know why everybody's getting dread still. I feel like that's played out, but hey. Bacon type look, you feel me? You just got the safari going. You feel me? But I mean, I thank feel you. you. I feel you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, oh, all right. Name and age. Chris, 27. Okay, Chris, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because you don't like dreads. And I used to have dreads, and when it's summer, I'm going to put, put them back in, so she going to hate me. <laughs> I mean, I like them pull back. Yours look nice. But I appreciate they, it. Yeah. But you're very pretty, though. Thank real, you. Real. Thank you. And now, is he someone that's your type? Um, I don't know. I have to learn more. <laughs> more about him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, mysterious. Right, right. Yeah. We'll let her slide with that. <laughs> All right. So we do have four balloons left on Popped. Go ahead and ask these guys a question to help you narrow it down. Um, okay. So what do you guys like to do for fun? Okay. Let's start here with your name and age. My- she has a really sexy voice. My name's Ryan. I'm 26. Ryan, what do you like to do for fun? I like to stay active. So I like going on hikes. I like going to museums. I think I'm very much a morning person, so less about nightlife activities and more about anything we can do early in the day. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, good. Yep. Okay. Name and age? My name is Justin, and uh, my age is 26. Okay, and now, uh, Justin, what do you like to do for fun? I like to go skating, you know, like roller skating and everything. You know, I'm real active, mm-hmm. and, you know, I love to play basketball, too, you know, so that's what I love to, love to do, you know, okay. and I love to eat different food places and everything, too. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? Uh, I'm Trey, 25 years old. Trey, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, I, I love friends and family. I'm a very big family oriented person, whether it's chosen family or biological family. I spend a lot of times with my pastors, my friends. I have some friends that live in other states, so I'll get on the game with them from time to time. But that's really it. I'm a really relaxed person, but I love adventure. Like, I, I'm in a part of my life where I'm doing stuff that I enjoy like I just went skydiving I'm doing this I'm putting myself out there trying to do stuff that I enjoy learn more about myself okay name and age I'm um, key 28 okay. key what do you like to do for fun uh so for fun I like to yeah, I'm a laid back guy real chill simple uh just hang out with friends catch a sports game here and there uh you know take a walk in the park something you know catch a movie I'm I'm low maintenance I don't really do too much so okay that's really it. All right. <laughs> I just realized this dude right here looks just like Reggie Coos. <laughs> or Reggie, Reggie Cuz or whoever that guy is. He's like a variant, like an alternate universe version of him. Okay. He looks just so like based him. off of all this information you heard, I'm going to have you pop one balloon. Um, can I ask one more question? Next round. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Rhino, you're out of there. Okay, I'm popping it. I knew it. <laughs> All right, why do you end up popping it? Um, I just like the rest of their answers better. I mean, nothing you said is wrong. Like, I like to work out, too, and do the same things, but I just like their answers better. Cool. Yeah. So, Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she seems really mature, and uh, I know you said you're a nurse, right? Yes. That's a hard thing to get into and takes a lot of discipline. And, like, so I'm just a great person, yeah. like, all around, Thank like, 360. You. Thank you. All right. And we do have two guys left. Oh, three. He was hiding his balloon. <laughs> we do have three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. Um, where do you guys see yourself in five years? Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? Investments, real estate, you know, getting into that, you know. And uh, honestly, I want to do some traveling, too. I want to do a little traveling and everything. So, yeah, that's the main thing right there in progressing in business. 
Okay, let's go on over here. All right, and what was your question again? Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in five years, I see myself building. I think five years, it's it's good to have an idea of what you want to do. I'd like to be like, have a higher paying job, have a have a home instead of just an apartment. I'd like to be building with my family. But I think the the best thing about looking forward is like having just like a purpose and a, and a knack to go forward. Mm -hmm. Like if you asked me five years ago where I saw myself in five years, I wouldn't say here. I'm so much farther than I was in a different area, like in a different direction. And so I just see myself moving forward. Okay. Okay, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, in the next five years, hopefully, uh, you know, I plan to keep growing my business, uh, be a homeowner, marry, at least have, you know, maybe one kid by then. Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop. <laughs> it's nothing, nothing against you. I mean, you're a beautiful girl. It's just, uh, you seem very like, you know, soft-spoken, real chill, laid back. I am too. So I need someone to kind of like, on the opposite spectrum of that, you know. Okay. That's really it. Yeah. Okay. I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so okay. that, that's, that's it. But yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. But she was someone that is your type? Yeah, she, she's very pretty. Uh, you know, I probably, I'd definitely approach her if I seen her out. Okay. okay. Now, is he someone that's your type? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Okay. okay. So we've got our two guys left. Guys, any questions for our girl? You got one? What's your love language? Um, I would say my love language is words of affirmation. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, acts of service. Let me change that. Acts of service. That's acts my service. love language. Yes. Okay. Yes. For sure. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. What? Let's switch what? it to him. What's yours? Yeah. See, I'm a real affectionate man. You feel me? So... I'm big on like, I don't know where that goes into, like mm -hmm. affection, uh, what? Like, like uh, physical, physical, yeah, yeah, physical touch, because you know, it's actually reason, because like, I got two loving parents at home, you feel me? Mom and dad, that's what that's just what I'm used to seeing. You know, they got a good relationship with each other, so, you know, that's why I picked up on it, you know? Okay. So that's what I like. Okay. Yeah. Any questions <clears throat> down here? Am I answering her question? Or no, no, I, you have a question for her. Oh, what's your what's your purpose in life? Do you know what you're here to do? Not just be an RM, but what are you here to do? Um, I definitely believe I'm here to help people in some way. That's why I became a nurse. But I also have an upcoming business. Um, I invent children's toys, so dolls. Um, growing up, I never really seen many dolls that look like me. So I've started a business in which I'm creating dolls that look like me. So yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. That's super cliche, but I ain't gonna hate. You feel me? <laughs> <That's super laughs> All right. It is time to pop. Out of these two guys left, whose balloon are we popping? Yes. <laughs> All right. Where do we end up popping his? Um, he won me over with that. How he was raised in a household with two parents, and yeah. he just grew up seeing like love, and that's really important to me too. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's okay. why. But you're very handsome. Thank you. And I'm sure any woman will be lucky to have you. But, yep, that's the reason. Okay, so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Uh, she hit the necessities, and she qualifies for the preferences. You're gorgeous, which is Thanks. a necessity for me. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> why does he talk like that? You love God, which is number two on that list. You're open and honest and transparent, and that's phenomenal. And you have family values, so that's Fantastic, so I, yeah. look, I was ready. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let me bring you on up. Bring you on up. Come on up. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Any final questions? Nope. I don't have any more questions. You ain't got no questions? Nope. Let me see. I ain't got no questions over here. Okay. Go over here. Go over here. All right. So is it a yes for you for her? It's a yes. And is it a yes for you for yes. him? We got a man. Let me take this mic. You guys can go on up. <laughs> Woo! Make some noise for them, y'all. <laughs> he look. He looks like evil Shiggy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome Hi. in. What's your name? I'm Simone. Simone, how old are you? I'm 24. And what do you do? I am a full-time content creator, lifestyle and beauty content, and then I'm currently in my master's program at Pepperdine uh, for clinical psychology. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, so I am a poetess, I'm a writer, a podcast host. Um, I just love everything, creative, arts, everything like that. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you like for a man? 
Um, I like a man with a higher education level, wisdom, um, communication, understands uh, emotional regulation. Mm -hmm. um, those are, that's, that's it right there. That's vital. Okay, yeah. got it. Put your makeup. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> and now, what are some deal breakers? Um, I would say lack of like just not like being able to like fully like feel and communicate. Mm. I think that's a disruption. Uh, a man that doesn't that uh, gets like weary about being out with me and understanding that I get attention and that I get looks and I don't want no man like being angry at me about that because mm. uh, like he's gonna be my man like I'm a, we look good together type of shit you know okay <laughs> um and then like somebody who's just like stupid sorry I just can't do that I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, I just can't. <laughs> sorry. It's your preference. No, your preference. <laughs> but that's fine. It's okay. We'll do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we don't have any pop balloons. So oh, okay. what's going to happen is I'm actually switching on over to you. Oh. Bro, this man has a... <laughs> this guy's got a go-yard <laughs> He's got a go... It's not go-yard. Um, what's his name? It's a, a Louis coin pouch. That, bro... <laughs> She's who he's talking about. He's who she's talking about. Oh, I'm going to okay. give you a pick, and I'm going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing so far, whoever may not really be your type, whatever it is. So okay. let me give you that, and go ahead and pop those two. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay, let's start right <laughs> on over here. We <laughs> this guy is getting no love. There's really nothing wrong with him. I think it's just the Lambins. You can have your name. He he got popped before the guy with the Louis coin pouch. That's crazy. Name and age. Bro has a Louis coin. <laughs> My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Okay. And Ryan, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to hear her talk more and hear her out. Okay. Yeah, it was like too soon to decide. Got it. Okay, but she's someone that's physically your type? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got it. And now, why did we end up popping his? Well, you know, unfortunately, I wish that I could hear you speak because I feel like you have a great vocabulary and great grammar and mm. can carry yourself well. <laughs> um, but from the looks of it, in reality, I just don't do light skins. Oh, bro, y'all okay. gotta y'all gotta relax with that shit. Like, you're sh like, bro, nah, this is not okay. I ain't gonna lie. That's that's starting to like. It it gets to a point. It gets to a point. Like. He did like th he. That's not in his control, bro. Y'all gotta cut that shit out. I ain't gonna lie. Tough. <laughs> I mean, he can't change that. It's like I'm not that's mad at him. I'm like, you can't do nothing about that. But all it's okay. Right. But that's yeah. That's it. Cool. Thank you. And then he did pop. I ain't gonna lie. If a girl says that, like, I don't really want her anymore. Cause like that makes you sound dumb. One more down here. Yeah. Your name and age. My name is John. I'm 31. And John, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she nice, you feel me? Uh, she read my type, you feel me? Uh, I like light-skinned women, so I'm just trying to see how she was. Got it, got it. And why did we end up popping his? You didn't make eye contact with me once while I was speaking. That's, I respect and I And I like, I love a shy, timid man who's going to let me speak for him because I'm a, I, I'll speak for you if you want me to, but for you not to make really eye contact is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll check it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right, let's head back and let's go ahead and ask these guys a question. Okay, um, what do you do for work? Okay, name, age, what do you do for work? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Dante, I'm 25. I uh, also am a famous YouTuber and adult entertainer and also do bodybuilding. Yeah. Adult entertainer, you said? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, let's go on over here. <laughs> Your name and age and what do you do? My name is Chris, I'm 27. And I got a couple jobs. I'm a realtor first, then I work at a community center, and then I work at two nonprofits. Okay, what's the nonprofits about? It's about helping black people. And then I got another one where I help black girls with my mom. Okay, yeah. understandable. We appreciate your service. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your name and age, and what do you do for work? Uh, I'm Trey, 25. I'm a development project manager at a tech company. Okay, Trey. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Name, age, and what do you do? How you doing? I'm Nati. I'm 25. And I'm a project engineer for a general contractor. It's my full-time gig, um, but I also do a little freelance estimating on the side. And what's your freelance? Uh, estimating. So oh, estimating. Like oh, okay. Specialty contractors. Oh, so you go with numbers and shit? You know your math? Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> I don't know shit about math. Name, age, and what do you do? 
Uh, <laughs> I'm Key, 28, uh, and I own a trucking business. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. All right. He said that's it. <laughs> that's good, though. You're a business owner. What are you talking we about? We got to pop right here. Why do we end up popping? Out of vernacular, I'm not too big on cussing oh, in these spaces. Oh, yeah, so. that's not going to be. Yeah, we ain't going to work with that. Yeah, I understand. That's okay. That's good. <laughs> Shit works out. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, I Stuff it's works out. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> so is he someone that you're nah, trying to Nah, she's no. childish. Okay, why not? <laughs> um, okay. okay. No, it's just like, no, I love the outfit. I love the outfit. It's cute. Um... Honestly, for me, it's just like the physical appearance. That was it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, based off of those responses you've heard, hmm, we did get a pop, so I'm going to have you just pop just one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, why did we end up popping his? Um... You know, I love the work ethic. I love you, you sound smart. You're just um, physically, again, it's just not the vibe. Okay, is there something specific? Just the height. That's it. Okay, all right. What? <laughs> Thank you. So you did have your balloon <laughs> unpopped for her. Why so? Yeah, she's very pretty. I like the tattoos too. I was noticing those. That's pretty cool, but yeah. yeah, it's pretty much it. Okay, now I'm realizing the tattoos. Can I take that back? Can you put more air in his balloon? <laughs> <laughs> this girl. Let's head on back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so okay. we do have three balloons left unpopped. Go I ahead do. and ask these guys another question. Okay, what's your, um, what is your perspective in regards to gender roles and the expectations of a woman in your relationship? As in traditional household what like how do you want your woman to be when it comes to all right that's a perfect question all right yeehaw all right so naturally i'm from michigan originally my parents both grew up together and stuff like that you feel me married raised me and stuff like that my morals my traditional by myself i want to have a okay so anyone watching this just know this does not reflect the average black man from michigan i am also from michigan um none of us look like this i don't know what part of michigan this man came from but this is not indicative of what you will see in Michigan. My family, want to move back to the country and stuff like that, have acreage, a lake, et cetera, et cetera. That's what I'm building towards right now. But for my woman, she has to be willing to let me lead and let and follow with suit type shit. You feel me? I want her to be able to have her own hustle. You feel me? Do whatever she wants to do and stuff like that. I want her to have her own dreams, aspirations too. But obviously, I'm going to be the man in the household and stuff like that. You feel me? So I got to be able to make the priority. You feel me and shit? But I want you to still be able to ride by my side. Are you prepared to do that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, when girls say you're too short, what they basically mean is you're too small because this guy and the other guy are the same height. He just has muscle. I, I've tried to do it before a few times, and a lot of women are not uh, uh, emotionally capable and also communicative. Was this before no, or after the adult entertainment? No, this is during as well okay. and before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good answer. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Add to your question. Can you repeat it? <laughs> Yeah, I'll repeat it. Uh, it's what is like your perspective and how do you perceive like your relationship and your gender roles when it comes to your woman? I feel like in a perfect world, you know, I want the traditional sense, you know, I'll be able to take care of you. But, you know, shit happens. And so if I'm if I'm down, I need a helping hand. I need you to be there to be able to help me. OK, that's an example. And our last guy over here, the answer to her question. Uh, yeah, to answer your question, I'm more so traditional, uh, but I am like, I do agree with teamwork, you know what I'm saying? So like if you if you cooking, I'm washing dishes, you know what I'm saying? If you washing clothes, I'm folding and drying and whatnot. So, you know, it's just just, you know, helping each other out. You know, that's it. All right. Good answer, good answer. Okay. All right, you know what time it is? It is time to I pop do. a balloon. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's stay right over here. Why'd you end up popping his? Um Honestly, it was just, A, first off, me having to repeat the question. Um, second off, it, then it was the answer. So I just, I felt like you could have definitely, if you had a, good, a better answer, then I could have, like, you know, sidetracked the, that first part. But I hate repeating myself. Oh, shit, that's cool. All right, so why did you have your balloon unpop for her? Is she cute? Cool. Okay. You, know, is, you know, she she's smart, though. She's well put together. You know, she had a lot going on. <laughs> All right, so we do have two guys left. Guys, any questions for our girl here? 
this one down there. We'll be back. <laughs> come on over. Come on over. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's our question? Uh, yeah. Do you, do you have any kids? I do. I have one, and he's two years old. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just the kids, uh, especially at that young age. Uh, it's so funny when the balloon pop is on the other side. <laughs> yeah, it's just not yeah, something I'm, you know. Yeah. That's it. But beautiful girl, though. I Thank definitely, you. I, you know, I would approach you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Is he someone that's your type? Um, actually, yeah. Yeah, he is my type. He is my type. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Eyes off. Can't Thank you. <laughs> and then our guy over here ended up popping as well. Why did we end up popping? Only because of that, bear. You kid. feel me? Well, mm -hmm. traditional man, I want my woman to come pure. I don't care about the whole societal thing with the bodies and shit like that. You feel me? That I really don't give a fuck about type shit. So you, uh, Mr. Adult Film Star, want your woman to be pure. But you clearly don't. What the what? What kind of dude? This guy doesn't make any sense whatsoever. How can you say you want your woman to be pure if you're an adult film star? You think, but it's like Bro, on, having to man. start with another person's child and shit and the things that come with it and stuff like that. You feel me? I want to start my own family from scratch. I, and I had raised in a full household. My brother and sister, everybody, my parents stay together. And you know what I'm saying? It's just, I have that, I have that moral in me. I just can't, it's a wish, but can't change it sometimes. You're an adult film and star. And I get that, um, especially with you growing up in a two-parent household, I completely understand that because that is a very valid foundation and principle on how you look on relationships. I grew up in a single mom household, so I completely understand where you're coming from. And I accept that. So that's good that you know that by yourself. I love that you have your boundaries. I appreciate you. Yeah. You go, standing. Like, Thank you. Do that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. Well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. Yeah. So we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up for her, guys. <laughs> Let's take this mic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello. Welcome in. What's your name? My name is Daniela. Daniela, how old are you? I'm 23. And what do you do? Um, I'm a medical assistant in dermatology. Okay, very cool. Um, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to play with my dog. Um, sometimes I go to the gym. I like to play tennis. Um, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, Let me tell you something. One one. You want you want a girl who has a dog. Girls who have dogs are better than girls who have cats. I will not elaborate. I will not explain it. I like a man who loves animals. <laughs> um, very empathetic. Always nice to the waiter, waitress. Mm. Um, oh. Um, he's not nice to them. He's not nice to the waitress. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah, just overall, like, really gentle with people. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, deal breakers, probably, I feel bad, but probably kids, having kids. Um, yeah, that's the only one I can think of for okay. now. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, we yeah. did get some pop balloons. Let's go ahead and okay. head on over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. All right. Your name and age? My name is John. I'm 31. Okay. John, why did we end up popping our balloon? I pop my balloon because I really don't like animals like that. Uh, oh, okay. That's okay. People, I be seeing people kiss their dolls in the mouth and stuff like that. Like, I, I'm not that type of guy, so. Yeah. And then you mentioned kids, you feel me? And I do got two shorties, so. Okay. It was a pop regardless, so. But yeah. you're fine, though, so I will approach That's you. okay. Okay, got Thank it. you. Now, is John someone that's your type? Um, I don't really have a type, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I would, I'm open to a lot of, like, a lot of guys, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just say no. <laughs> Just say Thank no. You, it's cool if he, he says you're his type and you say he's not your type. That's cool. Fun? Like any guy, like we've been rejected so many times. Like we do not care. Like you cannot hurt our feelings. All right, let's head on back. So we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. So I'm actually going to switch it on over to you mm -hmm. and I'm going to hand you a pick. Thank there you. you. Go. And I am going to have you pop two of these balloons. So okay. I know you say you don't really have a type, but you know, you kind of know what you don't like. Yeah, when you yeah. See it. So of course. go ahead and pop those two, and then I'll see why you ended up popping after. Um, mm. 
I'll do two. <laughs> okay. And then one more. Um, okay, let's start right here. Your name and age? I'm Trey and I'm 25. Okay, Trey, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I uh, just wanted to hear her out, you know. She's not, she's not attractive, she's cute. And so I just wanted to hear her out, hear kind of more about who she is. Okay, got it, got it. So is, we end up popping his, why did we pop his? Um, probably not what I usually go for. I like your eyebrows though, and I do like oh, the pearls. You. I love pearls. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think okay. that's all. Yeah. Got it. Very good. <laughs> so we did pop one more. Let's <laughs> head on back. Your name and age? Uh, Dante, I'm 25. Okay. And Dante, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I wanted to hear her out. I got to see what I would I think about it, but I had to hear her out. I didn't want to be that person. Okay. So is she someone that is your type? <laughs> okay, so like, there's only two, there's only two things. Type shit. Your voice is kind of naggy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Yes, also, bro. Yeah, like the body type kind of shit. You feel me? I was trying to like look past a few things. That's all. Okay. So yes. why did we end up popping his? Come on. Um. It's honesty. Look, I think the cowboy look is not for me, but it looks good on you. I appreciate you. Bro. So. Thank you, baby. Yeah, I think that's all. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm now going to have you ask the remaining guys a question. Mm. You got to have a lot of confidence to put on a cowboy hat and a Louis V coin purse. That is crazy confidence right there. Mm. Okay. Um, oh, I have a good one. Okay. Um, what is your inner child into? Like what, what type of things bring out your inner child? Okay, start over here with your name and age <laughs> and what type of things bring out your inner child? My name is Ryan, I'm 26. And the things that bring out my inner child, I think it's the same, like, I've almost always been into the same things since I was a kid as, a, as now. So animals, number one, like if I see a, an animal or a dog or something, I'm running over to it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> other things that are my inner child, I like sci-fi stuff. I like Bigfoot, aliens, whatnot. If I see that, I get excited. So maybe that might answer it. I don't know cool. if that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and the answer to your question. Chris, 27. And I'll say something that brings up my inner child is probably basketball and anime, a little anime. I love animals too, but I don't think that brings up my inner child though. But <laughs> with basketball too, like I, I'm real competitive. And so, like, I'm, I'm really smooth. Like, I like to be chill. But when I get on the basketball court, it's a whole different person. Like, the first dude is the guy who said he was from Michigan. But this guy really is what you will see. And, like, this guy seems like he's from Michigan. If I had to guess who was from Michigan, I'd say this guy. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's go down over here. Your name and age and what brings out your inner child. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Uh, things that bring out my inner child, <clears throat> things like board games, you know, competing like that. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of little cousins and nephews and nieces, yeah. so being around them, they bring out my inner child, you know, playing with them. Cool. I like it. Name and age and what brings out your inner child? Yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Uh, that's a tough question, but I'd probably say, like, the holiday season, like Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Christmas, uh, just, you know, everybody off work, people, you know, family coming to town, uh, spending time together, whatnot, like, it's, you know, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. That's a good one too. Nice. Let's mm -hmm. head on back. Okay. All right. I guess I should ask you too. What brings out your inner child? <laughs> um, <laughs> for me, probably um, finding like shells at the beach and stuff, or like if I find like a little jellyfish or something. I don't know. Oh. Like little. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I always liked finding stuff at the beach, like a little, even like little hermit crabs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am going to have you pop one of these guys' balloons based off of what you've heard, seen, whatever it may be. Okay. Um. <sighs> Sorry. I know it's tough. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, why do we end up popping his? Um, I think the holidays are cool, but I just feel like there's very specific things that like bring out your like who you are like since birth. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. 
Okay, that's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so why did you have your balloon unpops for her? Uh, she's a pretty girl, uh, very attractive. Uh, I love the hair, I like the curls, thank you know. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Now, is he someone that's your type apart from that response? Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's head back. And we do have three guys left. Go ahead and ask them another question. I have, okay, yeah, I have three. Um, yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, hmm. What is, uh, sorry. What do you do in your free time? Did free her time? voice just completely change? What the heck is going on here? Okay. What are you doing in free time? I like to walk, so I walk places frequently. I like shopping. I like, yeah, thrifting. I like antiquing. Um, that's pretty much it. That's my main free time activities. Mm -hmm. How about over here? What do you do on your free time? I ain't going to hold you. I'm pretty simple. Mm -hmm. I, I like to play basketball. Like I said, I watch a lot of anime, and I smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> Straight okay. to it. Yeah. Bro, I mean, he's so gonna, real. Okay. He's I appreciate it. Real. No, I appreciate it. Let's go over here. He's so real. Okay, what are you doing your free time? Well, I'm pretty busy, so I only get so much free time, but whenever I do, I like to try new things. Um, so try new food, go new places. Mm, yeah. Um, I'm pretty new to Arizona, so, you know, just mm -hmm. discovering the area. It's another place. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Mm hmm. All right, you know what time it is. Bro, I did not know this was in Arizona. I just moved here. Time um, to pop. Okay. How many? Uh, just one. Just one? Mm-hmm. Um, Unless you said you got more to pop. You got more to pop? <laughs> um, No, I don't think so. Okay, no, not okay. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, I might. Sorry. Okay. All right, where do we end up popping heads? Um, I think it's two things. One, not super like physically attracted, but also I think like, I don't know. I don't even really have a problem with weed and stuff, but I just don't want to smell like it. And I don't want you to smell like it either. I oh, always smell good. Um, <laughs> no, I believe it. I believe it. But yeah, some of it you just can't help. Some of it you can't control. Hold so. on. What? Like, no, nah, her voice okay. is tripping me out. Okay. I've, been, I've been doing this for years. So I was 12. I know how to control oh. myself. But not, not to, I know how to not smell like weed is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. 12. <laughs> so you did have your balloon and pop for her wife, so. And she's pretty. She's cute. Not really necessarily what I'd go for, her, but I was trying to hear her out. Okay, our two remaining guys left. Any questions? Okay, let's head down over here. All right, what's your question? What are your love languages? Are you have, do you have a top three mm. favorites? Yeah, that's a good one. I think mine are probably um, love languages. Mm -hmm. Probably, I like acts of service. And quality time is probably number two, but I think acts of service is like way up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How about you? What are yours? Acts of service is definitely up there. Yeah. Um, quality time is also up there. I'm also a physical touch. Honestly, I'm going to be honest, I like all five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, a mix of all of them would be great, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's a good answer. That I like all those. So. You said I like all five. <laughs> I'm Any stealing that. Any questions over here? <laughs> Anytime um, somebody asks me that, I'm stealing that. Who's one of your role models? Um, probably my dad. He's very, um, he's like the cook of the house. He's the, he's like everything. Um, my parents have been together forever, but my dad is like. Okay, you, you women need to stop doing this thing. Pick one voice and just have that be your voice, okay? Don't do this weird thing where one, you're, you're like Lily Pichu one second, and then the next second you're like, I don't even know, okay? Stop doing that. That is freaking weird. Like, he's a real, like, acts of service kind of person. Um, yeah, I think I take after him, too. And he's just, he's very empathetic, even if he doesn't show it all the time. Um, yeah, so definitely my dad. Respect, okay. Yeah. Who's cool. yours? Um, I have a few. But I would say Denzel Washington. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Random as hell. Uh Denzel's just cool as hell. Like, okay. cool, talented. Him and also, like, Donald Glover or Childish Gambino because he's a multifaceted artist mm -hmm. that I respect as well. 
So it is two. Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are down to two guys. I am going to have you pop one of theirs to see if the other is your match. Mm. Can I ask a question? Just a little question. Okay, go okay. ahead. Go okay. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your red flag or your toxic trait? So what's the toxic trait they have? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. That I'm opinionated. So I have just strong opinions on things. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's your toxic trait? I'm a pretty great guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would say uh, when I break up with someone, I like to break up on bad terms. I don't, I don't like to miss the person at all, so mm. that's probably my toxic trait, but other than that, I'm, I'm a pretty good guy, so. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see why our guy back here ended up popping. Okay. Yeah, let's see. What's going on? Yeah. I was thinking about it, and I just thought they looked like a cute couple together. <laughs> um, I think she, I mean, beautiful, and I think you exemplify femininity, which is a really great Thank trait you. that is missing to the, in these day, like this generation so i don't really have anything negative i just wasn't feeling like a romantic spark um uh, that was it okay. but you're really you have so many great qualities that i liked a thank lot you, that's why I, I stayed to the end because i was like feeling it but yeah okay yeah now is he someone that's your type um yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. cool thank cool. you well, let's bring out our last guy up here. Let me have you stand on this side of me, and I'll hey. have you stand here. All right, y'all, any final questions between the two of you? Now we can get into that later. I think I'm good. Um, <laughs> um, hmm. I can't think of a question. Okay. Yeah, I can't think of a question, but I might have to pop it, though. Okay. I didn't why did you want to pop? I know he beat you to it, but... I know, it's okay, too. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think he's not super physically my type. Okay. Um, yeah. I do think you're handsome, though, and I like your hair. You have really pretty hair. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Let me have you head back over there. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the balloons popped. We do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go thank ahead and give you. it up for her, guys. Thank take you. The mic. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. Hi. What's your name? Raja. Raja, how yes. old are you? I'm 24 years old. And what do you do? I'm a law student. Okay, nice. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? I love to travel, I like to journal, I like to walk my dog, and I like to just be really adventurous. Um, and have fun with my partner. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of partners, what are some things you like Okay, that's it. Ooh. Where are all these fine ass women coming from? Okay. Why, are they, why, why was she holding out until this episode? Why is every single girl on this thing attractive? Why did you wait 20 episodes to do this, Arlette? Well, they have to be honest, confident, um, really secure in themselves. Um, able to compromise okay. and we have shared values and beliefs got it got it yes. and now what are some of your deal breakers if you don't like dogs like <laughs> my dog is my everything so if you don't like dogs let me know that now okay <laughs> uh, what else this guy he's supposed to pop someone who's a narcissist mm. um and somebody who's not a decision maker they have other people make their decisions such as their family friends somebody on the street like i just need you to be a man got it yeah okay cool cool all right a real man is always a narcissist so we don't have any balloons popped so i'm actually going to switch it on over to you and i'm going to hand you a pick so <laughs> there you go and i am going to have you pop hmm let's go with two balloons okay based off of what you're seeing you know who may not really be your type whatever it is go ahead and pop those two balloons okay okay Okay, one more. All right, let's start right on over here. Okay. Name and age? John, I'm 31. Okay, and now John, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? 
She's beautiful. I'm not shallow, so I want to hear what she was talking about. You feel me? But, I mean, she's a nice little young, young woman, so I approach her. Okay, got it. <laughs> and now why you ended up popping his balloon? Um, you see, your name's John? Yeah. Well, John, you look really nice. Um, just there wasn't, like, an initial attraction, I would say. <laughs> but you seem sweet, so. Respect it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Your name and age. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Okay. And Nati, why did you have your balloon unpopped? She's very pretty. I like the dress. You know, orange is a nice color on you. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to hear you. I get to know you better. Okay. Got it, got it. Now, why do we end up popping his? Well, I would say the same thing. Like, you do look nice, um, really friendly. Just there wasn't, like, initial attraction again. Okay. But you seem fine. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Thank really you. Really respectable. <laughs> okay. Next round, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to help you narrow it down. Okay. So, guys, how should the roles and responsibilities be shared in a household? Okay, let's start with your name and age, and how should the roles be shared? Uh, my name is Dante, I'm 25. Uh, the roles in the household, I grew up in a traditional household, so dad works and stuff like that, grinds out, makes sure the home is taken care of, the kids are taken care of and stuff like that. Mom does what she's great at, which is nurturing and stuff like that, you feel me? Taking mm -hmm. care of making sure when I come home, everybody's taking care of my kids and stuff like that, making sure she's good. I gotta make sure, hey, if something's not right, yo, let me go take care of that and stuff like that and bring it back home. But I'm very traditional, very, extremely actually. Name and age and the answer to her question. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. And. Okay. I am 54 minutes into this. Arla has been sitting there with this mic in high heels on. Look at how high her heels on. 54 minutes in those heels. What, what kind of legs does this woman have? I just thought about that. I'll echo that. I'm very traditional as well. So. As the man, I would be taking the stereotypical man role where being the breadwinner. And if there's something wrong with the lawnmower, that's on me. Um, it's not on you. Uh, I'm carrying in all the groceries, like stuff like that. And then again, assuming we had a family, I would want my wife to be the one leading the uh, nurturing of the children and educating them and stuff like that. And hopefully she can cook as well. That would be a great bonus because I cannot cook for shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right your name and age and the answer to her question chris 27 and i'll say i grew up in a single mom household so i'm still learning as i go within my all the relationships i've been through so yeah i usually do take on a more traditional role like take care of you know if she's staying with me take care of the bills taking care of the the manly stuff like you said like all the, like the changing the tire taking out the trash all of that but as far as like monetarily I grew up seeing my mom do it all, you know, so I need another woman that can, she doesn't have to do it all, but she had to be able to do something, you know, hmm. I do like a little Miss Independent a little bit. Okay. All right. Name and age and answer to a question. I'm Trey, 25. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen both done uh, effectively in terms of both partners working and one partner, uh, I had a stay at home mom later in my life. So I really believe in what does the home need? Like uh -huh. that's between the two people to understand like you for example you're in law school that's mm -hmm. a very high paying job it'd be it'd be crazy of me to ask you to to sacrifice that entirely and not chase after this dream because law school is a lot that's high school college and some old school some old school <laughs> and so i believe in understanding like hey tonight might not be a, a unite to wash dishes tonight might not be a uh, a unite to, to to set up everything for the kids because I, I i'll be honest i can change a tire I have AAA and it works though. <laughs> and so I would much rather not. Now, if it's hot and we in Phoenix, like, I, if need be, but my AAA works. Uh, but yeah, I believe, in, I believe in modernity and I believe in like progressing those roles. They don't have to be static like they were in the past. Okay, that's good. And then we did get a pop. Mm -hmm. Let's head down over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, I'm Key, 28. Uh, I pop just cause, uh, you know, she's a law student. Uh, that's a lot of time, you know, I'm, I'm a business owner. And so you've been a law student, like, my time is limited, your time is going to be limited. That's a lot of school and everything, trying to build a family and whatnot. Uh, and then also, I mean, you're a pretty woman. Mm -hmm. It's just not really, uh, just not too attractive. But, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't look bad at all. <laughs> now, is he someone that's your type? Um, you look decent, but, I mean, like, you're decent. Like, okay. it looks like you tried. Um, 
Hey, that's what's up. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're decent. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. It's all good. Thank mm-hmm. you. All right. <laughs> okay, and we did get a pop back here. Why did we end up popping? So, if we look in long term, you know, building mm-hmm. a family, I'm a little taller. You know, nothing gets the short queens. I love the short queens. <laughs> but you just look like you're like five foot. Maybe <laughs> so, like, it's a little, you know. So, I like I'm like a little taller. I'm a okay. five, six, five, eight. Got it, got it. <laughs> now, is he someone that's your type? Um, you look fine, but like for a partner, I'm looking for someone more like, I don't know, more dapper. Dapper. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. Yeah. I, I be putting it on, I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> I wear a suit, so I just, you know, it's cool though. Okay, got it. Okay, <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we do have two left, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, three. You keep hiding that balloon. <laughs> All right, so we have three left. Uh, go ahead and ask these guys another question. Okay. What are some qualities that you look for in a partner? Okay. What are some qualities you look for? Uh, number one's major is respect. Um, I don't care really about the love and everything. Respect comes with honesty, communication, everything else and stuff like that. If you're going to respect me, you're going to do what's right at the end of the day. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So at first, and then it's just like a rapper say, I don't want love, mm-hmm. loyalty, da, da, da. I want respect. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I grew up on that. Respect my father, respect my coaches, respect the pastors and shit, respect the homeless people when I go to give stuff out for community service and shit like that. You mm-hmm. feel me? It's just a different thing. Growing up, like, I used to be look big and shit like that. People didn't respect me. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, they overlooked me and shit like that. So it's something deeper. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Um, stole my answer. Respect first, but I'll, I'll add to that. I also think someone who's peaceful. I'm looking just for someone who can be my peace because I go through stressful situations and I've got my own stuff going on. So having a woman do what she does best, which is be like that peaceful feminine energy, mm-hmm. that's what I care most about. It's the best answer right there. That's my answer. Give me peace. I need. I need peace. Come be my peace. Let's head on That's over the here. best answer. Name it. Age. No, just answer the question. Sure, got your name. And make it. Make it show. <laughs> uh, I believe versatility, ambition, and empathy are are really important for a partner because I don't. I was talking about modernity earlier. I don't believe in one thing. I don't believe in like a, a single track mind. I don't believe in somebody not wanting to venture out and be broad and trying and you said you were adventurous so that's already yeah. that's already a check but mm-hmm. along with that I need somebody that loves God and not just like oh God is cool woody woody woo but what's your sign no I need somebody that that loves God for real for real and so if you don't have that just go ahead yeah but all three all four of those things yeah I'm a believer so. amen come on yes. now Eba. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay it is time to pop a oh. balloon I can ask another question. No, oh. let's go ahead and pop. <laughs> okay, what do we end up popping his? Well, you have muscles. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, it looks like you work out. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate um, you. Do you typically like wear this attire? Uh, genuinely, so I'm from Michigan. I'm a country boy. You know what I'm saying? So. No, no, this is not what you see in Michigan. I promise you. Royce, I want to go back to the country and shit, but I dabber down like everybody else and shit, but I don't care about society's norms. I look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wear what I'm going to wear. Yeah. You feel me? Okay, that was really, I just had a pop some one the other Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I like your answer, though. <laughs> Is she someone that's your type? Uh, yes, for sure. 100%. You feel me? Like, I, I'm on fence a little bit, but I wanted to hear her out, what she's really going to say and stuff like that, and, you know, see how good she's going to articulate uh, her answers and stuff like that. You see the death in it and stuff like that, but she's did well did very well oh cool, thank you all right so our two remaining guys any questions okay. for our good lady yes um what is oh her? she's asking okay oh go ahead oh it's okay you can ask <laughs> <laughs> you were ready oh. go for it go for it <laughs> well i was going to ask for you guys occupations okay occupations mm-hmm. um i own two different media companies so making YouTube videos and stuff like that is really the main gig. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. And then while we're here, any questions for her? I was going to ask, what do you think your life's purpose is? My life's purpose. 
Well, I would say because I'm in law school, I went to law school because I want to help disadvantaged communities and just get them out of the situations that they're in. For instance, instance, I do want to go into criminal law and be a prosecutor or a defender, um, especially within my community in the Cleveland neighborhood. So I just really want to give back. Are you, is that where you live, Cleveland? Or Yes, I'm from Cleveland. Okay. Yes, I had that Indians oh. hat, but I'm still going to pipe. Um, I, I got to pop it, sorry. Because um, it's too far for me. Yeah. Where are you from? I live in L.A. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. He's in trouble. Thank you. It's not over oh. here. And then what was, what, what do you do? Yes. And then if you have any questions for her. Got you. Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company uh, right now. And then question I have for you. I was going to ask something similar to purpose. Mm -hmm. But what is something that your friends would say two years ago you struggled with, but you've made significant growth in today? Wow. I would question. say <laughs> that they would say that I struggle with like moving on from situations that no longer serve me. So I feel like I really developed from that today. Um, just being able to put the past behind me, look towards the future, know that there's better things happening, better things to come for me. And I feel like they would really respect that. Like, she's able to boss up, move on, and be a better person. <clears throat> All, right. All right, let me have you, come on up, come on up. Let's walk back over here, y'all, come on. <laughs> All right, y'all, so any final questions between the two of you before we determine if this is a match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Just and keep it a bill. Mm -hmm. Am I fine to you? Like, okay. like fine. <laughs> like I, like I'm going. I'm walking into your church and and your 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 deaconesses looking at. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I think you are attractive for sure. Um, I like your outfit. I like the way that you carried yourself. Thank you. Um, I like that you listened to my answers. Of course. Um, you're a great listener. Um, but you said. Like, fine, like I spot yeah. you out and I'm like, ooh, I want him. Yeah. Not necessarily, but you know, my types do change when I look at the person's personality and how they present themselves, but. But you say you still find him attractive. Yes, he's attractive. Yeah. Why you look at me like that? Cause you looking for a reason to pop. <laughs> no, nah. nah, I'm, I'm a sucker for a middle part now. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> tell you what. But all right, let's go. You good. All right. So then, with that being said, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Yes, Lord. <laughs> and is it a yes for you for him? You said? Oh, no. I was. Is it a yes for you for him? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's funny as shit. I ain't go. <laughs> Bro, that was really funny. What's what happened? Why he ended well, up popping? I just feel like maybe for me it wasn't like an immediate yes, and I feel like when you're in a relationship, you need that like immediate like yeah, like I want him, like let's go. But oh, that's why I asked. That what was I asked. it. Yeah, yeah. I just. The environment. Like maybe it could progress to that, but not. Just I agree. Initially. I mean, the environment. This environment is made for like stuff yeah, like that. Exactly. I just want you to be sure that this is something that like you're not mm -hmm. gonna go home two weeks later and go back home and be like, he's not really even that cute. Like, yeah. I don't, that's not for Trey. Yeah. Well, thank you. You can head back over there. All right. Well, that is all the popped balloons. But we do thank you for coming on. I'll take this mic thank you. and let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Dorian. Dorian, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I work for a Fortune 50 um, company as an insurance agent. I also rap. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. F does she, didn't she mean Fortune 500? Am I tripping? What is Fortune 50? Okay, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I know you see rap. What else do you do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to travel a lot. I like to stamp my passport. 
I'm very adventurous, skydiving, jet skiing, whatever the world brings us. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is... Wow. Damn. <laughs> okay. Y'all don't like to travel? I guess not. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? What do I look for in a man? I really like an outgoing guy. I'm a very outgoing person. <laughs> respectful, um, emotionally intelligent, and I also like a man that makes as much money as me, or more. Mm, okay. Exactly, nice. get the bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers, <sighs> felonies, but the felonies as far as sexual, violent, small penis. <laughs> deal breaker. <laughs> All right, so Period. we did get. I'm just being honest. She's drunk. Nah, she's drunk. We did drunk. get a couple pop balloons. That's she's fine. Like, Let's go ahead and they see why they, they didn't pop, pop it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name's Dante. I'm 25. And why'd you pop Dante? Don't don't get on the internet, bro. Uh, spots on your stain in your little dress. I you was in the bag drunk. drunk, so whatever. Oh uh, yeah, you feel me? I can't it's do fine. That. It's a three hundred dollars dress. <laughs> <laughs> it's the three hundred dollar dress. My bad. I got a little. Hey, cut her some slack. She been sitting back there for an hour, man. Make up on it. Just to show, it's like you paying attention to care stuff like that. You feel mm. me? You trying to be presentable? Just that, yeah. Okay. You feel me? That's Respect all. that. She pretty, pretty. Mm. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Now is he someone that's your type? Um, no, I'm not going. Where are you from? From Michigan. He's from Michigan, and he has a cowboy hat on. No, I can see if he was from Texas or some. I... Exactly. Thank you. But like Southern boys with a cowboy hats. I'm not a big fan of the cowboy hat. Y'all are so mean. <laughs> hey, I'm country boys in Michigan. <laughs> anyway. No, next. there isn't. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Ryan. I'm 26. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. And I think you just had an unwelcoming demeanor. And that was it. We know why. I mean... You know, everybody popped their balloon, so I might as well be honest. I mean, I, I don't want to get into it, but I can understand why you would think I have an unwelcoming demeanor. But you're very handsome, Ryan. I love your dimples, but I'm actually very much a sweetheart. Next. Okay. <laughs> Name and age and why you ended up popping? Chris, 27. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't do no skydiving. You know, I'm, I'm scared of heights. Mm. And so I had, I had problems in my past. With my last girl, she was tweaking with me. So I didn't want to do the little... With the, uh, the Superman thing in Vegas, we then broke up over that. Yeah, it was bad. What? Okay. okay. And you said your name is? Chris. Chris. So you popped my balloon because you don't like skydiving? You said you like doing adventurous stuff. Skydiving, what'd you say? Jumping out of airplanes, uh, roller coasters? I don't do that. I mean, but she asked me what I like to do. She didn't ask you what you like to do. But I mean, I understand if you don't like skydiving. We could have went on a nice dinner date. You're very handsome. I love the Balabas's pants. I got a couple pair myself. Mm. I like the outfit. You know, I don't think you, I think you're going to regret popping your balloon. But I understand if you don't want to go <laughs> skydiving. Everybody need a woman to get them out their comfort zone. So now, apart from her saying, you know, she's right about that, you know. Skydiving, whatever it is. Is she someone that is your type? Yeah, for sure. Okay. You know, I mean, I, I like the demeanor. I ain't going to lie. Thank you. That ain't a problem with me at all. Mm -hmm. I like the demeanor. I wouldn't make you skydive. If you said no, I would take no for an answer. Okay. Yeah. But okay. you can follow my Instagram. I think I can get you to skydive. You think so? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel a little vibe here. You want that balloon back? He don't got to take his balloon back. We're not begging. Let's go to the next. Oh, no. We're not begging, <laughs> but he looks like he's feeling you, girl. He it's looks cool. like he's If you don't want to skydive, I understand. But you got to get out your comfort zone. You got to explore different things. You got to enjoy your life. You're young, so... Hey, you ain't lying. Yeah. You're good. We gonna move on then. <laughs> All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is John. I'm 31. Mm -hmm. And I popped my balloon because you came out a little aggressive. You feel me? I like femininity. I'm not saying you not feminine, but your demeanor, maybe it's the liquor. You feel me? But No. And I think we're from the same city, and I'm mm -hmm. not trying to date no women from that. So. Oh, you from Indianapolis? I'm from Indiana. Oh, so. my gosh. I love that. So, first of all. What side of Indianapolis are you I'm from? From the east side. What part? Uh, Arlington. You from Arlington, like 46? Yeah, 46 in Arlington. All right, shout out to the east side of Indianapolis. Shout out. If you from Indianapolis, you know why I'm like I am the way I am. I'm from the east side. I mean, aggressive is crazy. Femininity is crazy. I feel like my hair is done, my nails is I'm done. I'm not saying you're not feminine. I said, but you came out a little aggressive. And Did was I like, cuss? You was on a de defensive mode. No, I think you guys all look handsome. I just, I'm just very, like, this is my personality. I don't feel like I got to tone down for nobody. But I respect that you want somebody that maybe you can run over. 
Not like that, but. But you're very handsome. I love the slugs. I'm from Indianapolis. Well, I like it's her. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm from the east side of Indianapolis. Actually, I'm from. Maybe like, you need to link on some friendship shit. Though. Friendship? Yeah. I don't think I want to be your friend. You embarrassed me on public YouTube <laughs> with 1.5 million people. But I think that if you go home and then you mention my name, I think that you'll be presently surprised. Like, I can't talk, but anyways, you'll be <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I think you will actually hit me up after that. All right, I respect well, you're very you. handsome. I love a chocolate man. Love your dreads. You look good. I like the Jordans. 10 out of 10. Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Uh, I'm Trey, 25, and I believe our, our temperaments would clash. Uh, the personalities that we have, uh, I'm not a big fan of, of drunkenness in public. <laughs> or okay. Just the idea of, it's just how it comes across. It's not, I'm not mm -hmm. tagging you with that. I'm just saying that's how it came across at first. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's really it. I believe, I believe you're actually beautiful. Thank you. you kind of favorite Glorilla, that to me. That's why Glorilla I is crazy. I think Glorilla is beautiful. I'm dark skin. I think more like Kelly Rowland, but I appreciate the compliment. That's that's fine as well. Gracias. What? But you, okay, you do not look like Kelly. If you do not look anything like Kelly Rowland, Glorilla is crazy. You do not look like no Kelly Rowland. Come on now, please be serious. But that's really it. I just believe our temperaments will clash. That's okay. All. Okay. Okay. Now, is he someone that's your type? No, he's not my type. Okay. Why you not? Know, I, I just don't think I would like to be out on a nice dinner date or skydiving with somebody that ha wears pearls. I'm not drunk at all. A little tipsy, you know, they gave us some drinks in the back, but I feel like I'm really put together. I feel like I'm carrying, carrying myself classy. But if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. I don't like the pants, I'm gonna be honest. I think that since you're light skin, you should have wore something a little bit more, less olive. But okay, but you're handsome though. Thank you. Love your beard. I love the earrings. She I think the gold looks. Hold on. She called it a beard, y'all. Yeah, I think, I think, for a minute. I think it's a beard I, now. You didn't. I think that, honestly, opposites attract. So I feel like if you feel like our temperaments would clash, yeah. I feel like you should get a little bit more confidence. I don't know. I That's think what you, you be doing with some I, match. I think that you should maybe date somebody that is more out there and get you out your comfort zone. I appreciate the input. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, handsome. Okay. Let's yeah. go over here. Mm -hmm. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm so sad. How you doing? My name is Nati. I'm 25 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I popped my balloon. I just didn't like the going back and forth with people. It's just not for me, that's all. Okay. But you're very pretty. You know. Gracias for the compliment. Thank you. I'm not going to say it's going back and forth. Going back and forth sounds more like an argument. I feel like you guys stated your opinions about me and how you felt, and I feel like I gave you my opinions about y'all. I don't think it's a go going back and forth. I think that we're all adults, and we should expect, um, respect each other's opinions. So, I mean, if that's how you feel, that, that's a red flag to me, because imagine if we didn't agree on something, and I said what I said, and you said what you said, and now you feel like I'm going back and forth like a kid. No, it's just, we just disagree. But I respect that. I think you're very handsome. Your hair is curly. You look good. Thank you. I like the shirt. Where you get it from? My mama. Your My mom. Mama. <laughs> Bless your mom. She's a great mom. It, it's nice. It's well tailored. No, it's real tailored. I like the gold. I like that. You, you look good. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's go to our next guy. Mm -hmm. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon? I really want to know. Uh, yeah, my name is Key. I'm 28. Mm -hmm. uh, really, uh, to be honest, man, the physical attraction just isn't there. But I was going to give you a chance. I was going to hear you out. You know, it's not, I mean, you don't look bad at all. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you, you know, you look pretty good. But then you said you rap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not really cool with that. And all the traveling and stuff. So, like, the rapping, the traveling, the mm -hmm. being out, it's just, I don't like a busy woman like that. That's too, doing a little bit too much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's understandable. Like, pretty much. It went back and forth almost every dude up here. No. So I feel like it kind of a little argumentative a little bit. So, like, I can see us being out on a date and you going back and forth with a waiter because something ain't cooked right. Or, like, wow. So you think I d uh, disrespect uh, civilians and people that serve other people and do their job? All these dudes civilians. They're civilians, but they all gave their opinion on me and what they didn't like about me, and I gave my opinion about back. Well, I'm just saying it was real. Like, it was, it was pretty strong. Like, it wasn't it's really – I'm not saying you don't have a class, but I'm just saying it wasn't, like – Classy, like how you okay. conduct yourself. Okay, I'll he's done. It's but, my turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, you go ahead. Okay, physical attraction. So, what's the physical attraction? I would love for you to get in detail. I mean, it's just not like if, if I seen you out in the grocery store in the mall or something. I just like, I mean, you, like I said, you don't look bad. I just want. He's capping. He's capping, bruh. Really approach <laughs> you like that. What's your type? My type, I mean. Yeah, I would love what you are physically attracted to since you're not physically attracted yeah. to me, which I'm not really. I mean, I like, I like natural hair. Uh-huh. Um, 
Like, so I'm gonna keep it real. It's not so much like. Be honest. You can be pretty, but like the way you carry yourself can make you. I ain't gonna say ugly, but it can. He's just, he's just talking, bro. Niggas, like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, that go out the window. So you felt like I carried myself, ag okay, aggressively. A little bit. I, like I said, I don't know if it was the the drinks, but it was. No, this is it, how I okay, am all it, the time. It wasn't pleasant. I say that. It wasn't pleasant. Yeah. Do y'all all feel that way? I don't see no. Balloons. I feel like y'all. I feel like y'all intimidated. I feel like I'm a very pleasant person. I feel like I understand the physical attraction. Me too. I pay attention to detail. I feel like you're dark skin. Your hair is pretty. You got a nice look to your, you know, face, whatever. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate Me personally, I wouldn't put on no Dolce Cabanas because I feel like they played out because I'm into swag or whatever the case may be. That's all good. I feel like my attitude is actually very great. I feel like any man that dates me is going to be overwhelmed with me just supporting his confidence and me building him up. I feel like that if you guys don't like a woman that likes to have a conversation or maybe disagree every once in a while, then y'all should reevaluate re -evaluate yourself. Um, also, as far as you saying that I'm the type of person that you feel like if we were outside and a waitress or a waiter um, said that I got into it with them or whatever you said, I'm sorry, I was kind of listening. Um, I think that is very, um, I don't know word. I don't know how to describe it, but I mean, I go on five star dinner restaurants all the time. People make mistakes. I'm not going to fault anybody or be disrespectful because they make mistakes. But if somebody says something to me, I am going to speak my mind and then I'm going to give my man a chance to give me their opinion and I'm going to go back. Head on back. She's dragging it. She be dragging it too much. That's what they're trying all to say. Right. But they don't know well, how to say Well, that it. is all the balloons popped. Mm -hmm. But we do thank you for coming on. Thank Let's you. go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this mic. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, girl, you better walk. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you'd like to be featured in any of our upcoming episodes, the link to the submission form will be in the description box below. Make sure you go ahead and fill it out to be considered. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you all next time. Make some noise, y'all. <laughs>